Hello, my Virgie Works. How are you guys doing this week? This is going to be your weekly reading for September 2nd to the 9th. I am Charlene Lizette. I do apologize. I know I'm a little bit belated, belayed, belayed, delayed for your video, and I love you still, so please know that. And also, happy birthday. I love my Virgies, okay? You all know I have a secret, a secret affinity. Don't tell anybody else, okay? Don't tell the other signs. <laughs> If you are just stumbling across this video and you're like, what is going on with her? Hi, this is me. I hope you enjoy these readings for you. All right. Okay. We're like that, eh? Okay. Oh, we got an extra card we're going to take. I'm just going to put this at the bottom of the deck. That's the Ten of Wands, baby. The heart, the dog. Day. What is it? What is it? What? The dark days of yes the dark days are over the dark days are over the dark days are over okay hercules hercules if you know that movie please drop it in the comments i'm just kidding the rest of your cards i know someone says i know dark days are over i can't remember the tune dark days over. what no it's not right i can't remember the song I can't remember the tune of the song, but you know what song I'm talking about. Just know that the dark days are over, honey, okay? This reading is spectacular. I'm so excited for you. Let's get them all out here, Virgo, and we're gonna dive in. Oh. Let me tell you, let me tell you something. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something. I know sometimes it can feel like God is putting you through the ringer. I know that sometimes it can feel like God is testing you beyond your capacity, beyond your limit. The grief, the shame, the guilt, the sadness, it feels fucking overbearing, overwhelming, and all-encompassing. And when you are in those moments of darkness, when you are in those moments of like, I almost want to call it deep despair or stuckness, it can feel so hard to have faith and trust and surrender to source. I want you to know something. No, we're not going to cry. I just did my makeup. This is a happy reading. If you are crying, it's okay. You understand that? I understand that. If you're crying, it's okay. Because uh, I might cry right now. And I want to, but I might. Okay. In those moments, it can feel so impossible, right? Like, how can you expect me to have faith, Charlene? How can you expect me to be inspired? How can you expect me to see the good in life when... All of this shit just seems to be crumbling around me and it feels impossible, right? Like, I hear you. I hear you on that. Baby, I've been there. I'm your bestie. You know that, okay? Been there, done that. Dragged to the depths of hell and had to all the way up again. But there's this thing that I've learned. And, hey, and God will put me through these tests of time. He really does, okay? Or she, whatever you want to call it puts me through these tests of time to remind me, okay, that when we believe in God, when we believe in source, okay, anything is possible. And that when we have unwavering faith, even if we don't understand the path and the outcome, right? Sometimes we think that the way forward is by doing A, B, C, D, E, or going down this path. But in reality, source is like, no, I got to go this way for a bigger reason, but we're still going to get to your result. It's just not the way that you think it's going to be. And so that creates discomfort for you. That creates anxiety for you. That creates worry for you. Okay. And I want you to know something. Okay. I don't want you to experience any of that. I want you every day to wake up and say, the universe is always conspiring to work in my favor. Today and every day, I know that I am divinely protected, I am divinely supported, and I am always being shown the path forward for my highest good. Okay? Repeat that. Somebody write it down in the comments. I will pin it. Whatever needs you guys need. That's your daily mantra, baby. That's your affirmation. I don't even care if you use it for EFT cap tapping. I don't care if you write it in your mirror. I don't care if you put it in your journal. I don't care if you tattoo it on your body. I mean, that's going to be a pretty long tattoo. Okay. Um, but in there, and here's why. Not only is this fucking week spectacular. Not only is it spectacular. Give me 14 of them. Picasso, Picasso. Okay. This week, you, you can finally celebrate, like, the happiness, okay? The happiness in the song. Happy tears. 
No, I did my makeup. Okay, trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me directly. To correctly, not directly, but directly too and correctly. You are not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness, face your true north. Do you know how many times I get people in the comments saying like, why is Raven in these videos? Why do you act like that? Are you on drugs? Are you high? Are you on something? No, baby. You know what I'm high on? This fucking magnificent life that God gave me. This magnificent life that I manifested for myself through hardship and through, through everything that I've gone through. I, I am high on the fact that we are so fucking lucky to be here that you are so lucky to have a camera, a video, access to a computer, a computer yourself to watch me, that I am so lucky that I get to sit here and speak to you the word of the universe, share with you this message, share with you my gifts unequivocally, authentically, unapologetically, where I no longer live in a world where I am afraid to be who I am. And you are no longer afraid to be who you are because you are loved for the exact person that you are. Do you know how incredible you are? Do you know how, how when you walk into rooms, people smile? Do you know that people go to sleep thinking about you and people want what's best for you? And do you know how loved you are, Virgo? I said no crying. Right? This is what this week tells you. You got the ninth house in astrology. The ninth house in astrology is Jupiter, and it's also the, the house of higher and elevated thought as well as this expansion. It covers long distance travels, foreign languages, inspiration, optimism, publication, high education, its spirituality, its philosophy, religion, ideals, morals. This is, look, honey, uh, listen, Linda. I know that sometimes it can feel like it's hard to have faith. I want you to just have faith for a little bit longer. I want you to wake up every day saying, God, I trust you. Universe, I trust you. Source, Mother Earth, I trust you. We got the Page of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the King of Swords. Uh, some sort of good news comes in, baby. Uh, uh, something that you've been trying to wrap up, a collaboration effort here, working together with people. This could also have to do um, with legal stuff, okay? This could also have to do with court. This could also have to do with documentation, contracts. This is you having this conversation and your desires being collaboratively expressed and resulting in what you desire. How do I know that? It's, how do I know that's what you desire? Like things are going in your favor. Okay. How do I know? Nine of cups, three of cups, empress, the star. Hello. Hi. If you are new to tarot, I have my tarot certification. It's in the description box below. Okay. You can go. I teach you all about the cards, how to read for yourself, run your own business here on YouTube, all that jazz. But on top of that, the nine of cups is wish fulfillment. The nine of cups is wish fulfillment. The three of cups is celebration. The empress rejoices. The way the cards were is like this so that you can see it. The Empress rejoices. She is rejoicing in celebration because of her wish fulfillment leads to healing, to believing. Wish upon a star. This is the wish upon a star card. This is an eight. Eight is karma. Do good, receive good. I'm so, f <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Okay, let me dive into your love reading. You got Sana. This is about healing that heart chakra baby heal crack wide open let yourself be loved okay let yourself be loved nine of wands ten of swords beautiful lovers a choice here ace of wands at the bottom here it is the wrapping up of a difficult cycle romantically, maybe. Maybe it's uh, finally breaking free from a, a toxic relationship, a toxic partner, okay? Yes. Oh my God, three of cups here, nine of swords, six of swords. Yes, this is moving on. This is moving on and finding love again. Moving on and finding love again. Yeah, moving on mentally, intellectually, realizing I deserve so much more than what I have right now. I deserve so much more than, than, than mediocrity and believing in yourself and making it your reality. Wish upon a star. Listen, if you're part of my membership, okay. Hi, thank you so much for signing up. You want to sign up to the alchemist membership. Um, the link, the join buttons down here. I post new videos there that are just exclusive for members. The new moon in Virgo video is there. Okay. We're coming into eclipse season on the Virgo Pisces access. It's a big fucking deal, babe. This is your time. 
this is your time okay i'm gonna pause this video here to help you we're gonna do money okay manifesting money because i see here some of you have been wanting to bring in some more cash money all right we're gonna do the manifesting money video here and if you want to work with me book a session get some clarity all of that jazz it's in the description box below thank you so much i love you so much we will see you later alligators peace out bye <laughs>